Gentlemen, my name is Justin Mark, international dating coach, relationship expert. In this video, we're gonna talk to you about how to deal with a breakup. Now, it's crazy because I've had the most crazy dating experiences, traveled all the world, dated women in Australia, Mexico, from Europe, my home city of Toronto, Canada, and I've had a lot of relationships. I've had 20, 30 different girlfriends over the last eight years, and I've had very serious relationships. I've had the not so serious relationships, been in love many, many times, maybe nine or 10 times. It's crazy. And even though I've had all this experience, I still find myself in intimate relationships and falling in love. Recently, I fell in love with a beautiful girl. She was gorgeous. She was beautiful. She was amazing. She was a sweet, sweet person. And I found myself in a position where I had an unhealthy attachment. And it was obvious it wasn't healthy. It was just very obvious it wasn't healthy. And so I decided to make the mature, painful decision to break up with that partner. And luckily, it didn't turn into this toxic relationship dynamic because decided to pull the plug before it could get to that. And even though it was my decision, it was still a very tough decision to make. I found myself at the club crying over this girl. I'm surrounded with all these beautiful women. And a lot of them wanted to come home with me that night. And I was pretty much just telling them to fuck off because I was sad over this girl. And it happens to the best of us. It really does. It doesn't matter who you are, how much money you make, how successful you are, how much you think you're the boss. You can find yourself in these unhealthy relationship dynamics where you're breaking up and sad and emotional. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to do to get back on the horse, get back out there, and start fucking crushing it. My name is Justin Mark, international dating coach, relationship expert. I've been teaching dating, social dynamics, social skills, confidence, and lifestyle development since 2013. And it's taken me all around the world. It's introduced me to thousands of beautiful women and thousands of cool guys that I've met in person and coached and trained. So sit back, hang tight, and let's jump straight in. All right, so you want to get over your ex. You want to get over this breakup. You want to go from this unhealthy relationship dynamic and unhealthy attachment you have towards a person into being with energy, being happy, being confident. Well, I'm going to tell you exactly how I did that in the last 10 days. I just came out of breakup literally 10 fucking days ago. And I'll tell you something that's crazy. Right after breaking up with her, I had another girl who's actually hotter who told me she wants to date me exclusively and wants me to fuck other girls. And we started pulling threesomes, started meeting beautiful women, started having a lot of fun. And I've had a lot of fun since this breakup. So I'll tell you the first thing I did in order to get over this person, the first thing I did is I signed up for therapy. I signed up through a platform called BetterHelp. Now, this is maybe not even necessarily the most beneficial thing because as a life coach slash dating coach, I give myself the best fucking therapy on my own. Through things like psychedelic mushrooms, through having amazing support system of friends and family, uh, through meditation, hitting the gym. I'm able to do all these things on my own to really help me on my own. But having a paid professional and putting your money where your mouth is and almost like paying for the help almost forces you to go into a better state of mind and a better frame of mind. And so hiring a professional, right, allows you to almost be like financially incentivized to fix your problem. And so because I did that and I was wanting to solve that problem of this relationship dynamic, I immediately started noticing that I started feeling better, okay? And before I even broke up with this girl, I had got a therapist and enrolled in therapy. And then what I started doing is I started journaling every single night and almost coming up with an action plan of how I'm going to bounce back, how I'm going to strategically exit the relationship without it being super destructive. And I started almost like preparing myself mentally for the breakup. And so when I decided to finally pull the plug and break up with this person, I felt very, very mentally healthy uh, almost right away. Almost, it was like a relief. It was like a weight off my shoulders. I felt great. And I remember... Uh, <laughs> The day we actually, like, the last pretty much contact I had with this person, 
Um, I'm laying in bed with two beautiful girls in my bed. And they're trying to have a threesome with me. And I was pretty much telling them no. And I was just crying. I was just sad. Then I ended up having threesome with them. And then I went out on the street to do cold approach pickup. I went out to go pick up girls in the middle of the night on the street. And I met two beautiful, beautiful ladies, Farron and Ash. Turns out Farron's a famous TikToker and Ash is her lovely girlfriend. And they became friends of mine. And then I went to the club that weekend and I hooked up with like five girls in tw 24 hours or something. Like seriously, I, I, I ended up having five different unique intimate experiences. Um, actually four, because one of the intimate experiences was in a threesome, but the whole point isn't just go have sex with a lot of people to deal with your problems. It's go put yourself out there and be social. And that's what I found was really beneficial to me. It's not that I was hooking up all these girls. It's that being around a bunch of lovely ladies who were supportive and emotionally nurturing at that point allowed me to feel a lot better about myself. And then what happened was one of the girls, uh, pretty much initiated a relationship dynamic with me saying, Hey, I'm really into you and I'm going to stop seeing other guys. I'm going to see you exclusively and you can fuck whoever you want. And she made it very clear. I'm never going to cock block you with other girls. I'm never going to be something that's going to block you from doing what you want or being with anyone you want. And I'm going to be exclusive to you. So that was another thing that made me feel a lot fucking better. If you want, uh, someone better than your ex, you need to find someone who's more cooperative and more attractive. It's very easy to get over an ex-girlfriend. Very, very easy to get over an ex-girlfriend if you see something that's gonna offer you more value. And more value in this situation, getting over a breakup, would be someone who's more cooperative. So finding a new partner who is pretty much as into you as your partner was, but almost like as emotionally loyal, as like a ride or die as that partner was, okay? And then who's also as attractive or more attractive. If you could find that, it'll be very, very easy to get over this breakup. It's crazy because almost right away, like within 24 to 48 hours after this breakup, I felt amazing. I mean, falling asleep naked with a girl on each side, being cuddling a girl and having a girl cuddling you, it's definitely gonna make you feel better for sure in the short term, but in the long run, it won't. But then doing things such as work on yourself, hitting the gym. So that's what I did is I started uh, doing martial arts. I started doing uh, boxing and it made me feel a lot fucking better. Okay. So I did boxing, meditation, and all these things, all these like OG habits that got me to the success that I've been, the, the highest level of success I've had in my life came from these four things, okay? Meditation, fitness, cold approach pickup, and reading slash learning. So if you can do those four things, over a long period of time, you're going to automatically bounce back. But then obviously hooking up the girls helps. Finding someone who's more like a ride or die with you and who's as attractive as your partner was also helps a lot. And so you must follow those steps, okay? Work on yourself in every way possible, socially and emotionally. It's very, very important that you do that, okay? And then what you wanna do is you want to just be focused on your daily growth every single day. And you wanna focus on the positivity. You don't wanna focus on the negativity. Where your attention goes, energy flows. Where attention goes, energy flows. And so if you're focusing on the sadness of your partner, the breakup, feeling like shit, feeling sad, that's what you're gonna, you're just gonna feel more of that, okay? What you focus on grows, okay? And so you gotta focus on feeling better, being grateful for the people around you. And I remember having a party the next day, right after my breakup, and I saw how many amazing friends I had around me. I saw all the beautiful people around me. I saw all the lovely ladies around me. Funny enough, the morning of my breakup, I was on the phone with one of my female friends and she was telling me that she was in love with me and it made me feel so much better knowing like there's gonna be other women who are in love with me. And it's probably far from my last relationship. And so just realize that if you could do something once, you could do it again. If you can have a breakup once, you're probably, this is probably not your last breakup. And you're going to bounce back very, very fucking quickly as long as you focus on these things. Now, these are just things that are gonna help you mostly in the short term, but as long as you focus on these things every single day, long term, you're gonna feel a lot better. So what I highly recommend you do is go out every single day, doctor's orders, okay? I'm the love doctor here, and you're gonna go out every single fucking day to practice soul skills and meeting people. Or you can lock yourself in a your room and feel sad. No, what you must do is you must go out every single day and you must go out and be social. Don't just leave the house, go out and be social. Go to nightclubs, go to bars, go to nighttime social venues, daytime social venues, spend time with friends and family, spend time with people who care about you. It's so, so fucking important that you spend time with people who care about you. It's very important that you practice uh, soul skills and self-help. And it's very important that you watch videos like this or you read books related to concepts like this or you practice meditation. It's very important that you spend your time learning because in order to bounce back from this relationship, dynamic that you were in, 
and go over your breakup or get over your ex. It's imperative that you just work on yourself day in and day out. So that way, a few months from now, you want to remember these emotions and you'll get over it very, very quickly. My name is Justin Mark, international dating coach, relationship expert. If you guys ever need any advice, you can follow me on Instagram and you Instagram drunk Justin too. Go follow me. Go message me if you have any questions and we can talk. We'll talk. Just follow me and message me on Instagram and we will talk, okay? You can watch my daily Instagram stories. So go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Very, very important. Now, what you can also do is you can actually schedule a call with me. I will literally call you. Yes, you and me. We will talk on a phone call. I run these coaching programs called boot camps, immersion boot camps, where we train you with the thought, right thoughts, beliefs, minds, and habits, and we get you out of this little rut you're in, this little negative cycle and we get you to the highest state of being through teaching you mastery of social skills mastery of social dynamics and a mastery of social circle skills so you can go from this shy awkward anxious loser or this depressed miserable human being to being the peak version of yourself the most powerful version of yourself the most confident charismatic version of yourself and i really care about you guys i really do and this is why i've been making these videos for almost a fucking decade okay and so what you got to do is go to justinmark.com schedule a consultation call with me and i will personally call you me or someone from my team we will call you and we will get you enrolled in one of our boot camp programs one of our coaching programs one of our curriculums and even if you don't end up signing up for one of those programs we'll still call you and guide you in the right direction okay my name is justin mark i really do love you guys thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you guys very very soon. If you like this video, make sure hit the subscribe button, click the bell notification so you're notified of new videos and we'll keep in touch. Okay. And you can also check out my podcast, the wingman podcast, wingmanpodcast.com or wingman podcast on YouTube or wingman podcast on Spotify. We're on Spotify, YouTube, wingmanpodcast.com. We'll see you there. Okay. If you guys have any questions, if you have any concerns, leave in the comments down below. Message me on Instagram. I will talk to you guys soon in a new video. My name is Justin Mark, your national dating coach, relationship expert. Feel free to message me on Instagram. I'll talk to you very soon, bro. Peace out.